Mrs. Belcher here with my best dino pal, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and my best doggy pal, Bosco. And today is Monday, April the 26th, 2021, and welcome to a brand new week of learning. Now, before we get started today, I'm super excited because I get to announce a Mustang Award, and you all know that I love Mustang Awards. So today, Miss Hagler would like to give a Mustang Award to Clayton and Lucas. Let me tell you a little something about Clayton and Lucas. They were mannerly, they were trustworthy, they were thoughtful and attentive, and notable and generous. Holy cow. That is a lot of really, really good traits to have. Let me tell you what they did to earn this. Clayton and Lucas were kind enough to pick up a mess left by another class in the library while they were patiently waiting for their class to start. So that certainly was very, very thoughtful. And it's always a good thing to help pick up messes, even if you're not the one who made it, right? It helps other people and it helps keep our shared spaces, like the library, clean as well. So everyone can enjoy the space. So congratulations to Clayton and Lucas. Thank you for being such a positive role model for your classroom and for all of us. And thank you for showing all of us exactly what it means to be a Mustang. Now, guess what? I have another Mustang Award to announce. This one is from Miss Stiltner, in, also in the third grade. And this Mustang Award goes to Amelia Dale. And Amelia has been very motivated, studious, and very goal-driven. Those are all really, really excellent things to be right now in our fourth nine weeks. It's easy to be like, whoo, school's almost over. I'm just going to throw in the towel and relax. Nope, you got to stay on top of everything, just like Amelia did. So Amelia has achieved 100%. Again, not 50%, not 75%, not even 99%, but 100% percent fluency in reflex math for multiplication and division. And that is very impressive, Amelia. So a great big congratulations to Amelia Dale. Thank you for setting such a good example for your classmates and for all of us. And thank you for showing all of us exactly what it means to be a Mustang. Now, we had one birthday yesterday on Sunday, April the 25th. Autumn Bellager in the first grade had a birthday yesterday, so happy birthday to you, Autumn, and we hope you had an amazing day yesterday. Now, today, on April the 26th, we have one Mustang birthday to celebrate. Damon Bellinger in pre-K is having a birthday today, so happy birthday to you, Damon, and we hope you have the best day ever. Bosky, your birthday is coming up, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's coming up on Wednesday. He'll be four years old. <laughs> now, lunch today will be cheese pizza, potato smiles, buttered corn, fruit, and your choice of milk. Lunch for tomorrow will be chicken patty on a bun, broccoli and cheese, sweet potato fries, fruit, and your choice of milk. Now, don't forget that the Summer Program Commitment Survey that was sent out to all the grown-ups um, last week is due by May 21st, okay? So, the Summer Program Commitment Survey is due by May 21st. Now, SOL testing season has arrived. Our first tests are this week on Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm going to shuffle up to my little corner. So in order to show our testing Mustangs, our third through fifth graders, that we all support them and that we're cheering them on, and in order to give them some encouragement, we are going to have Rock the Test Spirit Days. So Tuesday, 
that's tomorrow, is relax and do your best day. And everyone is asked to wear blue to support our fourth graders taking the Virginia Studies SOL on Tuesday, tomorrow. Then on Thursday, April the 29th, everyone is asked to wear red for Red Hot Test Takers Day to show support for those fifth grade Mustangs taking their reading SOL. Now, these spirit days are for everyone, the whole school, to show support for those classes that are testing. So Tuesday is Blue Day and Thursday is Red Day. And now, Ms. Hegler with another testing tidbit for all you need to succeed. Hi everybody, Ms. Hegler here. And today's test taking tip is all about snacks, one of my favorite things in the world. So when you see me walking through the halls, you'll probably see my cat lover cup in my hand, or that means I've set it down and forgotten where I put it. That happens too. In years past, I'd either have a gigantic dark blue water bottle or a much smaller but still humongous light blue water bottle. I take those with me because studies have shown that hydration, that means having enough water for your body's needs, helps your body operate at peak performance. If you don't get enough water, you can have headaches, dizziness, fatigue, nausea, and delayed reactions. That means when somebody asks you a question or tries to throw a ball to you, your body can't move as quickly as you need it to. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you have plenty of water. Your teacher will have a place in the classroom for you to put water so that you can get a sip when you need it. Cold water is even better because it's like a miniature shock to your system. Think about jumping in a swimming pool the first day of summer. You know how that water is so cold, but it wakes you right up? It's like that, but for your mouth. So cold water can help alert your brain and drinking enough water helps your brain and body do everything they need to do in the time they need to do it. Up next, mints. Not only do they help with your mask breath, which is great for you and everybody else, Peppermint actually affects your brain and can help wake you up. Have you ever noticed that when you pop them in and breathe in, you've got that kind of icy feeling in your mouth? That's the active component in mints doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It helps your brain in two ways. One, it can calm down cortisol, which is the stress hormone. That means that if you have a peppermint, it will help you feel less stressed and more calm. The second way is it helps increase alertness and focus. If you have a mint in your mouth, you're able to better pay attention to the tasks at hand. Plus you can even retain information better, which means maybe you'll read the passage and it won't take you as long to find the answer in a few questions. Not only that, it's delicious. Plus eating a mint, is not a big deal. It's not very obtrusive to the people around you and you can do it quietly. Just maybe don't crunch while your roommate, while your classmates are trying to work. So the importance of snacks and hydration cannot be stated strongly enough. There are scientists who have done humongous studies with kids, college students, people of all ages to determine that water and mints really do help your brain. That's why we wanna make sure that we're able to give you all the help you need. We've been working on this stuff all year long. So what we want to do is help you be able to access what's inside your brain. Less stress for the test, you know this. I'll see you soon for another test taking tip. Until then, cheers. Thank you so much, Ms. Hegler. We look forward to your next video. Now I'm going to shuffle up to my little corner. If everyone will please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, that's all for now, Mustangs. Everyone have a marvelous Mustang Monday. And as always, be excellent to each other. And we will see you next time.